Well, I started the, uh, the COVID crisis by uh, taking Brian's course, and it quickly became obvious that the uh, same old, same old uh, marketing message of we're the oldest, we're the largest, we're the best, we have the best people, we win the most awards, it just wasn't going to cut it anymore. And really, the idea of offering something that was more customer-oriented and building a advertising campaign around that was just a very easy decision to make. We knew we wanted to do something different with our branding. We saw that a lot of what was being put out into the market by our competitors was very similar to what we were putting out there. And we knew we had to, we had to stand out in a different way. And so we had discussed some ideas and, and weren't really sure what the first step was. And then we went to DMSC. When we got there, a lot of the things that had been, discuss been discussed in-house were now solidifying in some of the keynotes and things that we heard. Uh, when, when we got back, we knew we had to get to work right away. So myself, Katie, who's my partner in crime, our owner, Mike, we sat down and worked our way through what a brand promise could look like for our store. Um, and so we kind of decided that we would start based on what customers were saying about us. We knew we had great reviews and we knew that the customers that were loyal to us really loved our store. So we started creating some word clouds. Um, you know, hashed out a, a few starting points from what we really essentially ended up drawing our, our, our final brand promise from. And the more that it was discussed in house and the more it was talked about, we knew that this was going to be a game changer for us.